just across the hall from the agricultural show was the trade show. I was super impressed with the amount of vendors that came out and I was even more surprised to learn that for most of them, this is their everyday job. They travel from trade show to trade show, fair to fair, making their living. I met two entrepreneurs who are willing to share their secrets for success with us. Lloyd Minster, it's great. I love coming here. It's fun. People are great. You know, it's, it's just a good place to come to. And we do relatively well. I've got lots of customers here that come back and see me every year. So I, 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 I want to come back and service my customers. Summer is one of the busiest times of the year for George Nassar. Selling kitchen craft waterless cookware at trade shows is his full-time job. I've always been my own boss. I've only had a job for somebody else for three or four years. And I've always been self-employed. I was a contractor for 36 years. I've always been self-employed, so there's no other way to do it. Independence. I get to travel. I get to go where I want to go. We've been all over Europe. We've been, you know, we just travel a lot. Whenever we get an opportunity, we get to travel. We get to see our kids as much, basically as much as we want when we can. And, uh, like, you know, when we take time off, we work hard, we play hard. And that's one of the nice things being, about being self-employed. Uh, you can play hard when it's time to play. My name's Kimberly Burgess, and I'm here with Honduras Living. We sell exotic property in Honduras, Ocean View Properties. I'm, I'm actually really built to be an entrepreneur. I don't make a great employee, uh, very much uh, that mindset. Although hard times in terms of hours that you put in, that kind of thing, but very, very rewarding. You know, it, it's really, you, you kind of call your own shots. And I think to, to really be an entrepreneur and a business owner, you have to be self-motivated. Uh, because there's nobody saying when you have to show up and how you have to perform. Uh, but I like that. You know, I like the calculated risks that you take, but I also, you know, I really enjoy the rewards of that as well. So I love a challenge, and uh, that's certainly what owning your own business is all about. There's a lot more work involved than you might think. Long hours, ordering and shipping product when you're on the road, and doing your own bookkeeping is just the beginning. It's hard. It's people think you know. Oh, you make all kinds of money, or you know, it, it 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 looks very glorious. It looks like a lot of fun. A lot of work involved in this. Every but every one of these vendors does the same thing. You live from you know, you go from show to show to show, and it's it's very hard. It's not easy. When we're on the road, we don't get to see our kids very much, and that's that's a little hard. Um, now we're trying to trying to stay closer to home instead of being so far away. So now we're going to start working up. Well, we've always worked in, in BC and Alberta and Saskatchewan, but instead of going all over the states, we're going to stay up in the Northwest, um, Washington, Oregon, Montana, Wyoming. So that way, every couple of days, you know, every couple of weeks, we can go home. We've been gone for a month now, so uh, my grandson's in my heart. <laughs> I think the, the key is to bring everything that you need, because we had to do a bit of shopping in Lloyd, so that's good for Lloyd, I guess. Uh, but, uh, and, and the hours, you know, you put in some long hours here. But uh, people deserve to have your best every single opportunity. So those connections are so important. Uh, I really, um, you know, I, I bring it to the table, so to speak, where if someone's having a conversation with me, they, they deserve my best each and every time. Even with all the challenges they face, these vendors say it's a chance they're glad they took. I had been an employee for a number of years, was really just ready to set my own course if you will um, and you know it was about seeing how I could do things differently a little more creative uh, and and if you're that type of person it's certainly a great fit I think the key with being a business owner is is really established mentors that have been there before uh, I have a lot of people around me that are mentors to me that I you know tap into all the time you know what would you do in this situation or what ideas have you got and people who are business owners who have been successful are always more than willing to help you out with that I love it it's very we're on the road all the time we get to meet all kinds of people see all, all parts of the country all parts of Canada all parts of the US so it's a lot of fun I don't really think of what I do as a job it's uh, very much 
my life. You know, I enjoy it. I love it. So I've worked all over Texas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Nevada, Wyoming, Montana, Ontario, Alberta, Saskatchewan, BC, Washington, Oregon, California, New Mexico, Florida. After these messages, we'll hear more stories from life on the road, this time from the carnival side of things.